Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher reporting in to Creative Katie Karen Burchill and our terrific Facebook group, Mixed Media Creations. I've got step two done, at least the first 20. I do want to do more. I love the results. I didn't think it would make much of a difference, but it has <clears throat> to, uh, to actually do the stamping. Almost exclusively, I used Ranger Archival inks. Um, I purchased a, a set of 16. One is missing. I purchased a set of 16 uh, when they first came out in the minis. Um, as you can see, here are some of the uh, tools that I used. Today, I used stamps from Tim Holtz, Mike Deacon, and a couple of mystery stamps and Illustrated Faith Gold. I also ended up in the end using um, uh, on several cards I used Distress Oxide ink. So here we go. Here's my toucan with a Hero Arts Peacock stamp and I wonder if the toucan isn't sitting there thinking, gosh, I wonder if I can become as beautiful as a peacock. The next stamp is highly textured. Um, th this is cloth-like uh, cardstock that Hero Arts came out with at Christmas time. Um, I used a Tim Holtz texture stamp to kind of get in the little crevices there. Here's the Mike Deacon text stamp, one of them. Hope. He has a whole set of six uh, with very, very positive um, affirmations. Hope, strength, love, creativity, and so on. The text here is from um, the Tim Holtz text stamp, a Tim Holtz text stamp. Over here, uh, these stamps are from the Tim, one of the Tim Holtz texture stamp kits. And uh, this stamp is uh, a really a, a distress collage stamp. I love it. Both of these stamps are Hero Arts. I think I forgot to say that about the Peacock before. Uh, that's from Hero Arts. It's not the layered peacock, it's just the regular peacock. And this flower over here is a large flower from Hero Arts. Okay, these are my mystery circle stamps. I bought these about a year ago um, from um, Amazon.com. Uh, they're on a wood base, and, and the wood bases are round, just like the stamps are. I have no idea who produced them, but I like them. They're great for getting into confined areas. Over here, I interspersed, and in some cases layered one on top of the other, um, the Tim Holt A it's always A, because Tim Holtz has done so much, but a Tim Holtz grid stamp and my mystery flower stamp that I don't know where it came from. These butterflies are definitely Tim Holtz. He came out with a three butterfly set of butterflies and moss. Um, one reason the um, archival inks, are the mini archival inks, are so convenient is look at how you can do little parts of these small stamps. You can, you can ink them up and make them appear somewhat layered. But over here, pink is my favorite color. Yes, yes indeed. Okay, these are again the Tim Holtz texture stamps. And here I've interspersed the Tim Holtz texture stamps with the circle stamps. Here is my favorite Tim Holtz stamp, 
with a bird cage and a bird and background music and vegetation. It's it's glorious. I overstamped. I couldn't stop myself. There are my flowers again. My mystery flowers. And the circle stamps. Now here I change to um, Distress Ink. This, uh, this particular blue ink is Salty Ocean Distress Oxide Ink. Not just Distress Ink, but Distress Oxide. However, the black ink is uh, uh, um, Ranger Archival. And this is Salty Ocean Distress Oxide Ink. OK, 